Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January 2021. Keep in mind that when you watch this reading, it probably will not be January. This is for January, okay? So this is like a preview of for what's to come in January of 2021. So... Let's see what comes up for Leo. I'm going to start right here. What do we have for Leo for January 2021? What do we have for Leo? Honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully. And in a loving manner. I think that you guys do speak in a loving manner. But honesty is essential. So, honesty is essential this month. To be a loving person. It is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. If that triggered, triggered you. If it triggered you, then there's an issue. So, what do we have for Leo? Sometimes we aren't honest with ourselves. Sometimes we wear masks because the truth hurts. January 2021. Stand your ground. Now this is the seven of wands. Now this is about being on top. Okay. It's a, you're in a tough position. This is a very tough position to be in. This is fighting for the top spot. You probably have some haters. You probably have some people that don't like you. You probably, uh, are a stiff competitor and when you are a stiff competitor people don't like it so you are going to need to stand your ground and stand up for yourself but while you are doing so make sure that you are being honest because the minute you let your integrity get down is the minute you lose So what do we have for Leo for January? The moon. The moon. All is not as it seems. There are some hidden forces here. It looks like there's some light that is going to be shown on a situation. You notice the door is opening. The window is opening. Whatever. The veil is opening, okay? So it looks as though that something is going to be shown. The light is going to be shown on a situation this month. You could be dealing with the Pisces. You could be dealing with a Cancer. doesn't have to be, but there's some sort of fear, and there is illusion. So make sure you are being honest with yourself. <laughs> Again, honesty is essential. So there's, there's fantasy here, and it's interesting. And you're wearing a mask. So I think that you really need to be honest with yourself. If you want to win, honesty is essential. All is not as it seems. Somebody isn't being honest. And their honesty, their dishonesty is going to be revealed. So if you are thinking about being dishonest and you get the privilege of watching this sooner, my advice is to be honest in the next whatever you watch this because it will be revealed in January. So yeah, okay, this is a light being shed on a situation, okay, and it is universally driven. 
you could be dealing with a high priestess. I don't know. Anyhow, I think that you need to be careful. I think that you need to be very careful, okay? Because there is something that is is going to be shown. It's going to cause a major uproar. The tower is a unexpected event, okay? It's major disruption, and I'm sure a lot of you are triggered at this point because I know that Leos don't like any sort of anything that is negative. Okay, not typically. I've been doing this for a long time. You know, I don't want to hear the bad. Some do, some, the majority don't. Okay, some of you have reached that spiritual uh, awakening. Okay, some of you have. Some of you have woken up and you ex understand that the darkness uh, shows the light. You know, brings the light, but a lot of them haven't. So, anyhow, um, the tower is an unexpected event. It's a fated event that sheds the light. Okay? It's dark. Okay? It's dark. Okay? It, the darkness is going to be revealed. Alright? Um, something has been hidden. It's been false. There's been some lies. Some lies are about to show up. Okay? Somebody has been able to hide them behind uh, closed doors, right? But it's been hidden. Oh, no, no, it's over. It's over. There's going to be a tower moment, okay? This is a disruption, a major life change. This is the universe. There's going to be an uproar of some sort. This is a major disturbance. It's a shock. Shocking information may be revealed that... Um, now, this is a clean slate. This is the need to start with a clean slate, okay? There's, there's nothing... You can do, but rebuild someplace else, you know, do something different. Hey, man, oh my God, all universe cards. So this is refusing to budge, the hangman reverse, and I don't care what any other reader says. This is somebody that is stuck on their point of view. Somebody that will not change their point of view, okay? I'm a know-it-all. That's what this is. This is a know-it-all right here. This is somebody that um, has to prove a point, will not budge, is refusing to change, highly egotistical. There's somebody here that is very, very, very egotistical. This person is about to, to face a major disruption in their life because they're wasting time sacrificing happiness, holding on to some sort of illusion, okay? Holding on to some sort of fantasy. Could be dealing with a Pisces for sure. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's what I see. Water sign. Anyway, this hangman reverse is unwilling to budge. And this could be your energy. Unwilling to change your mind. Somebody won't change their mind. This is I know. And I'm not changing my mind. This is my belief. And, and that's okay. We're all entitled to our beliefs. But there's some sort of element of illusion here. Somebody's not being realistic. It's false. This is false. So somebody isn't being honest with themselves. Interesting. Very interesting. The hangman reverse. That is a need to let go. This is refusing to let go. Struggling to let go. Obsessed with control. Not learning a lesson. Somebody is definitely hiding something. Trying to prove something that is false. Somebody is trying to prove something that is false. And... I feel like they're about to get, it's almost like that chip is going to get knocked right off their shoulder because the truth is going to come out. Some Somebody's been lying and the truth is going to be revealed and it's going to cause a major uproar. It is. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I know that there's a water sign here that it can be very revengeful. Okay, you're dealing with a water sign. This person is... Very scandalous, revengeful, uh, hypersensitive, heartbroken. There could be some sadness that is coming. The Queen of Cups in reverse is, is disappointed. Disappointed, jealous. 
shallow, manipulative, fantasy, all about fantasy. So somebody is in their fantasy here. They're not being realistic. They're not grounded at all. Somebody is in some sort of fantasy land. And they're, they're, not, they're definitely not seeing things clearly. And they're not. And I'm sure some people are really triggered right now. Because when you tell somebody that they're not seeing something clearly, they, they automatically put up this, this stance where, oh, no, 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 no. And that's what, exactly what we have here. Somebody is just like, I'm not going to listen to any advice. I know. And they don't know. It's complete fantasy. This is fantasy. It really is. This is false. Okay. Somebody is holding on to a false sense of security. It's not realistic at all. They're not being honest with themselves. And they need to be honest to them, with themselves. If somebody is highly competitive. Highly competitive. Now, there's going to be some sort of emotional disappointment here. Because everything is about to crumble. There's going to be an event that reveals the truth. And damn. That's all I got to say. It's going to be emotional. Tears are going to be shed. Somebody is going to be maybe even punished, okay, because of this hangman. That could be punishment that is coming. You refuse to accept advice. You refuse to listen. You do refuse to be real. Well, that's that's the universe is going to step in. This is this is the universe. So let's see what do we got. Here? And this could go vice versa. This could be for somebody that you're dealing with. Okay, this, this reading may be for the cross watcher or somebody that you're dealing with. Um, Wheel of Fortune, positive change is coming. A change is definitely coming. Okay, and it is a positive change, but it feels like um, it's going to force, because this is force. The tower is universal force, forcing somebody to change. This person has been basically the martyr, unwilling to change. But change is coming, whether they like it or not. The universe is absolutely in control here. We have five cards. Four of them are universe cards. This is out of your hands. You can try to stop it from happening. It's not going to happen. Okay? The universe is in control. We have a cycle that is coming to an end. This chapter of your life needs to end. But you got to be honest with yourself. If you don't be honest with yourself, well, that's when the universe has to step in. So the universe is definitely stepping in. It's going to be very, very, very emotional. Seven of Swords reversed. So this is an unworkable plan. Somebody is going to get caught. If they've been cheating or involving themselves in a third party situation, that could be it. And cheating doesn't have to be sex. There's no such thing called as emotional cheating. You know, when you build an intimate relationship with somebody over the internet. That's called cheating, especially if this person is already in a commitment, whether they're married or not. That's called cheating. Anyhow, the Seven of Swords reversed. This is um, a need to let go. This is, this is risky business. Somebody's about to get caught. They think they're going to get away with it. They're not going to get away with it. Whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, somebody's going to get caught. Um... I feel like it's emotional cheating. I do. I, it's funny that that came out. There's somebody has been doing something, um, building up a false sense of security, hanging on to something that they should have let go of a long time ago. It's almost like they're very needy, very clingy. This is very needy, very cling, clingy. It's like they need constant attention. They know they shouldn't be doing it, but they're doing it anyway. They think they won't get caught, but they're going to get caught. Anyway, we do have a cycle that is coming to an end because the truth is coming out. Okay, some sort of truth is coming out this month. Hopefully you were honest. Hopefully it's for the other person. Somebody here is about to crash. Okay, their world is about to crumble, whether it's you or the other person. And it's because they were dishonest. They didn't act with integrity. They tried to cheat another person. They tried to lie. They thought they were going to get away. They tried to steal something. They're stealing here. Somebody tried to steal something that wasn't theirs. Now they're going to get caught. Their world is about to crumble around them. There's, there's, this whole thing is about to come to an end. That Wheel of Fortune is an event. Again, we definitely have an event here. Of there's going to be an event that reveals the truth, that sheds the light on somebody's falseness.
Two of Swords. Somebody was choosing not to see. It feels like they were choosing not. They were in denial. They should have blocked. They should have blocked, but they couldn't block because of the need for attention. Anyhow, Two of Swords, that is blocking the truth. Somebody has been able to block the truth, but they're not going to be able to block it anymore because the universe is in control. Anyhow, um, there's been somebody's been avoiding the truth as well, but they're not going to be able to avoid it anymore. They're about to get caught. Somebody is about to get caught. Some sort of truth is about to come out that has been hidden. This has to do with uh, some sort of lies. What are these lies about? What are these lies about? The sun. The sun. About this Leo. This Leo. About happiness. About a relationship. Some of these lies about a happy relationship of some sort. Somebody's been lying. They've been lying about their happiness. But this is actually a breakthrough. Okay, the sun card is a breakthrough. Somebody could have been even been lying about being happy. This card is about being accepted. It's about a blessing. A blessing is it's a blessing that this is happening really because it's going to break you free because this is freedom. But it's not going to come without opening your eyes. Somebody's going to get a wake up call. This is a wake up call. Sun comes up in the morning. This is a wake-up call. It is absolutely a wake-up call. Somebody's about to get a wake-up call. Happiness is coming. But it doesn't come until you honor your truth. Now, this is a new beginning. Because the sun card is a new beginning. This is a blessing that comes after the tower falls. So there's going to be a tower moment and then a blessing arrives. A, a, a blessing of happiness arrives after this chaotic event. Okay, so, so there's going to be an event that causes some sort of heartache because the Queen of Cups reversed is heartache. Okay, it's sadness, it's disappointment, whatever. It's going to hurt. Okay, it's going to be painful. There's going to be a, some sort of... Um, news or something or something is going to happen that is heartbreaking it's heartbreaking but you know somebody may have left or something like that or somebody gets caught cheating or uh, somebody was ignoring advice they were ignoring a warning thinking that they could get away with it and they get caught somebody may receive a message in their morning inbox at one, one in the morning from the third party. I don't know where that's coming from, but that's what I just heard. Anyhow, and you know, it could be a wake up call. It's a rude awakening with a tower card. This is absolutely a rude awakening. Anyhow, but happiness is coming or that sun card wouldn't come wouldn't be here. Okay, so there's happiness that is coming. But it's after. It's after you uh, stop holding on to something that you you don't need to prove yourself. Stop trying to prove yourself. Stop trying to get attention from people that you don't that you aren't supposed to get attention from. You don't have to prove yourself to anybody. Right? Anyway, positive change. This is very positive. It really is. Positive change is coming. That chapter of your life is, is coming to an end. This is a breakthrough. You have a new beginning here that does lead to happiness. But it comes after you uh, come out of denial. There's some sort of denial here. Somebody has been avoiding honesty. They've been avoiding the truth. It's like they think that they can, they're can. they never going to get caught doing what they're doing. This getting caught is the rude awakening that they can't do this anymore. You don't want to get somebody else's partner mad at you. I mean, that could be your rude awakening. I mean, I don't know if that's the case, but it feels like there is 
<laughs> well, what I feel is that somebody is going to be contacted by a third party. And it isn't going to be pretty. This is going to enlighten them. It's going to cause a major uproar. It's going to reveal somebody's intentions. It's going to reveal somebody's true nature. And everybody's going to hear about it. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is about karma. It's about destiny. It's a fated event. This is the Wheel of Life that is changing your direction. Life is always changing. So, I feel as though you will probably be at the beginning of a new cycle in January. Okay, this is the beginning of a new cycle. It really is. But this comes after a major event that shakes you up. It really wakes you up. It shakes you up and it wakes you up. So yeah. You definitely have a new beginning here. That cycle of your life of being in denial and not being honest with yourself and avoiding the truth. I think that's over. I think that you're going to start to be more honest with your feelings. This is ignoring your feelings. I think that you're going to start to, you know, really look deeper before you get involved with, uh, I don't know, maybe it's third parties. It looks like there's cheating here. I do see some element of sadness. I do. I see sadness here. I see tears for getting caught. Somebody's getting caught and it's and it's going to be you know, there's some sort of heartbreak. Somebody may even be taking the credit, trying to take the credit for somebody else's work. Could be getting caught for that. There's definitely some untrustworthiness that is being revealed. It's being shown and it's being is definitely being shown, okay? There's everybody's going to hear about it. Everybody's going to see it. So, I feel like in January your life is changing. I feel like you, that, that cycle of, and maybe it's even self-deception because the moon is deception. The cycle of lies, the cycle of deception, the, the cycle of ignoring, you know, the signs, ignoring the truth, you know, living in denial, uh, thinking you can get away with whatever you need to get away with just for to, attention is over. This is a new beginning for you. A bright new beginning. So I feel like January is the beginning of a new cycle that leads you to happiness because you are no longer the person that you used to be. I see that some of you are probably going to be building a new foundation because after the tower falls, you have no choice but to rebuild. You may be moving somewhere where it's warmer or somebody is moving someplace where it's warmer. This is this is running away. Somebody maybe, you know. Building someplace else. That's what I want to say. Anyway, Leo, I feel like in January you're going to be in a tough position. Everybody's going to be pointing the finger at you. That's the 7 of wands, okay? You are going to be in a tough position. I think you put yourself in that position. Be ready to answer to whatever is about to be revealed. Good luck.